Hey guys, this is Magnus here. Just wanted to do a quick update. I recently saw a video online that had to do with the fact that the 5D Mark IV is difficult to work with using their extremely large file sizes. Now, I know that the file sizes can be a bit cumbersome, but I wanted to kind of test it out because I've never really done a long shoot for more than just a couple of minutes with the 5D Mark IV. So if I create a large 4K file that comes out at 500 megabits per second and try to work with it immediately off of Adobe Creative Cloud, I want to see if I run into any issues like I heard about online. To paraphrase what I heard, it was that the 5D Mark IV creates multiple large files in the old codec of MJPEG and then you cannot work on it using Adobe or other editing software without transcoding it first. Well, this experiment is to see if I can actually record for a long time and then start working right away. Now, the file size will be large, of course, but that's why I'm putting this camera to the test right now to see if what he's saying is true or not. Basically, the recommendation is that the, the gentleman who created the video wanted to return his 5D Mark IV, and I want to see if I could possibly tell him if you did it this way, it works. Or if you did it this way, it works. I'm out of here. I'm just going to let the camera record for half an hour. See you later. From this instance, I've got <clears throat> pretty much what looks like 50% battery left. And I just started another 4K file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this recording. And I'm going to head back to the play previews. And you'll see that this file is 29 minutes and 59 seconds. The only reason that that happened is because I recorded for the full half hour. And that's, it stopped because of course, you know, that's the limit before you have to start over. And I totally forgot about that limit. But anyway, time to continue and record off of that camera uh, and finish up. Anyway, I'm back here. I just checked and I recorded for a half an hour and I probably got 50% battery life left. I used a high speed CF card, 256 gigabytes. Now I'm going to take that file, go to my computer and try to pretty much work with that file and see if I can edit a quick outflow. Now the intro to, to the, this video was out of that file. So I'm going to work with that, see what I can do, output. I am not even going, I'm going to see as fast as possible if I can cut what I need and just work with what I need and see if I even have to transcode because my bet is that I don't have to transcode this file and I could just work with it immediately if my needs are to just output a video into uh, YouTube. So I'm recording this tonight. If I can upload this to YouTube tonight in a short amount of time, that means that the 4K files, which everything is coming out of my 5D Mark IV, except for the footage of the back of the camera, which I recorded with my NX1, everything comes out from this camera and uploads tonight, then you know no transcoding was necessary. Now let's jump to the computer and get that footage. Of course, that footage I just pulled directly from the computer, but we'll see. See you in a sec. Here I am at the computer. Now, first thing I, I did was put the CF card, 256 gigabytes, actually onto a card reader that's connected USB 3.0. So right here, I've got the file, I actually got three files that were created. I made two short videos, but here's the main file, BO2A2625, 112 gigabytes created, or 107 to be honest. Um, as you can see, 4K footage, the file size, 29 minutes and 59 seconds. Now I took this file, opened Adobe Premiere, there it is, BO2. A2625 and I will just put it on a timeline change sequence settings and there it is that's how I started so now I basically have the whole file here and let's see without transcoding in fact I didn't even copy the file onto my hard drive all I did it's actually still on the card now 
and I it plays perfectly. I can stroll, whatever. I previously uploaded the footage, I edited a little bit, I output it. Outputting the file took about five minutes. When I output the footage, I put it into a local hard drive. Half hour test, here I did. I converted the footage to H.264, 178 megabytes, 4K. Here's the details, still a 4K, but I just edited the file, did a brief little intro. Didn't do much with it, of course, but uh, there it is. And that whole process, like I said, five minutes, but to actually work with the footage took even less time. And that's what I want to emphasize is that I did not have to transcode. It's probably best that I copy over the footage rather than working off of the CF card directly. So that would take some time, but I did not have to transcode the footage until I was ready to output the file. And when I did, it worked flawlessly. Now I'm going to begin editing this footage, this ca screen capture, and everything that I'm working on into my video to upload tonight everything that I just worked on. Thank you. Okay, so there you have it. Pretty easy workflow. I just put the footage into Adobe Premiere, did not encode anything, began editing right away, and just output. Even this footage that I'm recording right now, that's all I'm gonna do. Put it in Adobe Premiere, edit the way I need, output, then prepare for YouTube. It's not as complicated. I believe that the problem with at least the person that I saw working on his videos was the card that he purchased. It was a 128 gigabyte CF card that he did not have formatted correctly. He probably had it FAT32, which would split the files into four gigabyte files. When that happens, you create multiple four gigabyte files that become almost impossibly hard to work with. But if you format the card correctly into an XFAT format, then you can have much larger files without them having to split into so many different subsections. When you have that going and a large card, then it's pretty easy to work with the files in the current format without having to re-encode them. Granted, it's still an expensive alternative to purchasing a GH4 or even my Samsung NX1 that works with a great compression format that you can actually output your videos in. However, it's not impossible to work with and I just recorded half an hour worth of footage with no issues and edited right away. I have a couple of fast cards for that, and that's what I make it used for. So if you got any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Hit a thumbs up if you like this, and I'll be back with another update in a couple days. Finally, you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out. <sighs> How to get that out there.